I'm Harrison Keeley with the Las Vegas Review Journal. Our reporter Rachel Crosby has been in Hawaii covering the Kilauea eruption. She joins us from the island today. Welcome, Rachel. Thanks for being with us. What can you tell us about the latest developments from the island today? Well, um, the Kilauea volcano has actually been erupting for more than two weeks now. Um, today, this morning, it was like shortly after midnight, there was a very minor eruption. It sent a plume of ash about 7,000 feet into the sky, which in the last couple of days isn't abnormal. Um, so right now, um, there are still several people evacuated, still on high alert for toxic gas. Um, it's, like I said, been going on for about two weeks now. What kind of devastation have you seen so far? Well, I went out with the National Guard uh, to one of the neighborhoods that's been evacuated. There were originally two, and now there's a third that's been evacuated. Um, we went out on a truck and we're driving through these residential streets. Um, it's very lush. It's like in a jungle. And then all of a sudden, like the pavement would just stop and there would be like lava, just lava flow, um, cutting off streets. Um, the lava is swallowed homes. Um, it's, it's kind of been a double whammy because there's been earthquakes as well. So some of the homes have sustained earthquake damage. Um, some of the homes have been burned as a result of the lava, like the lava has set them on fire. Um, we know that there's been at least 40 structures damaged. I believe it's higher than that now. Um, just a lot of neighborhoods just, it, it, there's not really any specific pattern or anything. It's, you can have one house that's fine and another that's completely destroyed. What more can we expect from here? Is there anything that hasn't happened yet? Well, so, you know, I actually asked um, a geophysicist with Hawaii's Volcano Observatory, who they've all been very closely monitoring this, of course, um, as they have for, for several years. Um, I asked if there's any indication that this is almost over or if the worst that has happened, and his answer was point blank, I have no idea. Um, you know, there's no telling how long this will last. That's why um, these shelters that have been set up to house so many of these people that have been forced to evacuate their homes um, are just kind of running with the idea that they can be for who knows how long. It could be weeks. Um, it could be longer. So everyone's hoping that it ends soon, though. <laughs> now, this is Hawaii's largest island. Uh, can you give me any sort of uh, idea of, of how much of the island has been affected by this? Right. So only about 5% of the island uh, population wise has been affected. But you have to understand that that's, um, it's my understanding, at least 400 homes um, or buildings ha are currently out of power in the evacuation area. And that's just homes. So that's, that could amount to, um, you know, more than a thousand, if not a couple thousand people. Um, but again, it's, it's in this sort of rural area. These are big plots of land, um, a couple farms out there. Um, but of course, these are still people's homes. Uh, the nearest big city is Hilo. It's the largest city on the island. It's about 20 miles out. Um, so a lot of resources are being pulled from Hilo to help. And you mentioned traveling around with the National Guard uh, during this eruption. Uh, tell me more about the government response uh, to this. Right. So um, the Hawaii County Sheriff have been, they know the area the best. So they've been out um, at all of these neighborhoods and evacuation points. Um, the guard has been here to sort of help with, they have like equipment that they've been using to get out to some of the bad areas um, in particular. And then uh, the U.S. Coast Guard is out on the water. Um, some of the lava flows have entered the ocean and it's causing this blaze, which is this um, toxic gas that forms when the lava hits the water. So the Coast Guard's out in those points monitoring, making sure no boats come in. Um, so, and of course, Red Cross is out um, at the shelters as well. So there's been a huge response from multiple agencies. What are the, uh, the biggest hazards people on the island are, are facing right now? Is, is there a quality, well, an issue with the air quality? Yeah, so um, the air quality changes, it fluctuates 
Uh, it can change at really any point. There were reports this morning that uh, actually a couple hours ago, um, there were stronger lava flows in the water. So there was, of course, the worry of the toxic gas. They were reporting very high levels um, in an area near a state park, which is currently under evacuation, but still just warning people um, that the levels are very high, as well as the lava itself. I mean, um, even within the last couple of days, they had to shut down a highway in the area because the lava crossed over the highway um, and entered a new area of homes, which was that third evacuation point. So in that instance, there was a man that was injured, um, but that was, I believe, the first and so far only injury is there any, any indication of what this eruption means for uh, tourism in Hawaii? I know it's a considerable part of the state economy. Uh, what are you hearing about that? So, so far, tourism is a huge part of the Big Island's economy. Um, so far, no flights have been affected, and the airport is reporting um, a similar amount of flights coming in compared to last year. So there hasn't really been cancellations, which is good. Um, but there are cruise ships that have opted to just skip the island altogether, um, which is unfortunate. I mean, Hilo's 20 miles away from where the eruptions are occurring. And Kona, a very popular tourist destination, is like another two hours onto the other side of the island. It's nowhere near where this is happening. So um, the local economy has already seen a more than million dollar hit just based on um, the cruise ships that have opted not to come, um, which, of course, are really good for the businesses that um, occupy the ports. So that's been difficult, and it looks like the cruises haven't started coming back yet. So that's definitely something local businesses are struggling with. Well, Rachel, yeah. thank you. I was going to say, sorry, Hawaii National Park, the Hawaii Volcanoes Park, Almost all of it is shut down, too, which is a huge tourist draw as well. Mm. Rachel, thank you for being with us. Uh, stay safe out there. We'll have continuing coverage of the eruption at ReviewJournal.com.